Hey, good morning, Cornerstone. It is so good to be back, uh, to be here with you guys again. Great to see faces. Uh, we've had a wonderful time trying to overcome all this coronavirus stuff, but now we're here and we're celebrating Father's Day together. So happy Father's Day to all you dads. Um, I want to talk to you guys about my dad a little bit. Uh, I've been blessed and privileged to have a great Christian dad growing up uh, here in Ludington before I went off to the Navy. Um, and he's still here now. Part of the reason why my family decided to come back here was my parents. My dad, he, uh, he taught me a lot of things growing up as a Christian. We were at the church every time the doors needed to be opened. He was usually the one opening them. Uh, as a deacon in the church we grew up in, he uh, was always active and a part of what was going on at the church and discipling us and just making sure that everything uh, in our lives, uh, in our belief, in our faith, was moving forward at a good, good pace in the right direction. He was very active and is still very active and involved in, in my life. Uh, I actually attend a men's Bible study with him every week over at his church. When I was a kid, he was always engaged in what I was doing uh, and what I was thinking and what I was uh, feeling. He was involved in my life. He was my baseball coach for a couple of years in elementary school. Uh, he always wanted to know what I was up to you know, when I was getting ready to graduate high school, the decisions I was making. And he, uh, he supported me through thick and thin, even in my rebellious times where I, I kind of stepped away from what I knew was right. He, uh, he didn't you know, he didn't abandon me. My, my dad's been supportive through everything, uh, through my entire Navy career, and uh, he's been a good example. From him, I've learned integrity, honesty, loyalty, hard work and diligence, like not just in physical work, but also in, in the work of, of the kingdom and doing Christ's work and, and being involved in the church. For me, I'm, I'm really pr privileged and blessed to have been given the opportunity by God to be the father of five children. Um, we have a mixed family. A lot of people don't know that, but we have a mixed family, and uh, uh, mine, hers, and ours. And uh, most people don't know that because we don't act like that. We, 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 uh, we are a family because we are a family in Christ, and we focus on that in, in our our family and I would encourage you guys you dads especially to be the priest of your home um, to to follow God's word to demonstrate God's word before your children to uh, show your children um, that you love the Lord that they know that uh, you love the Lord that you love his word that you're in his word don't make your your quiet time secret from your children let them know that you're in his word that you that your faith is strong and encourage them in their faith. Affirm them in the decisions that they're making and, and giving them the wisdom to step forward. Uh, read through scripture with them. There's nothing more I could tell you. Uh, there's no magic formula. There's nothing that you can do that will create any anything that is uh, going to guarantee success more than reading the scripture with your children. If you read together and you pray together, God will bless that. My boys know the word, they're comfortable in their faith, um, and they, they know who they are in Christ. And as hard as it is to let them go as they, as they leave our family and go out on their own, they're confident in who they are, and I, I know that they will, they will be okay in the midst of all that is going on in our world. So give your children to God. Uh, God has given you a blessing as fathers to be their father, to be the priest in, in the home that they grow up in demonstrate to them that you love their mother and that you love their Lord and God will prosper your family, God will prosper your children. Love them, affirm them, and enjoy the fact that God has made you to be His image bearer as their father. God bless you. God bless Cornerstone Church. Uh, thank you for listening to all that I have to say and uh, happy Father's Day. Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone, He is one. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I am giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. 
talk about them when you are at home and when you are on the road, when you are going to bed and when you are getting up. Tie them to your hands and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates.